Welcome back to this and another edition of Adasio How To's. In this edition, we're going to be talking about the different icons you can create to help you as help you as having identifiers for different students. You will notice as we go through that I already have some set up, but that's okay. We'll go through, through it, and I'll still show you how to do it. So, in your Adasio page, your main Adasio page, we're going to go down to our settings on the left hand side, and now. And when this pops up, we are going to go all the way down to the bottom. So we're going to, right now we're at the system, we got backup settings, we're going to scroll down, pass the IDOS over you, and down to Gradebook. Now at the Gradebook options, we're going to be looking at Custom Editor. Now here in Custom Editor, we're going to be doing different things. So if you're talking about grades, this is where you come into when you're setting up your grading chart. And we'll do that in another how-to. It's also coming where you come in to do identifiers. Here I have identifiers here. I have my different ones I want to pop up when I'm looking for identifiers. And so I come in and I click on where it says Custom Editor 3. When I press on that, it gives me an option to add in a title for that. So I'm going to put in here, Icons. Or you label it whatever you like to label it. When I press done, apologize. I'm gonna go through and I click on the X. When I click on the X, it's gonna give me a variety of icons to choose from. You'll notice that some of my icons are labeled, and I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. But you can go through and click and have a series of icons in here. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put my grades in here because sometimes I want to identify my students by their grade levels. Three, oh. and if I want to get rid of it, I just click it again. Two. Three. So five, I'm actually gonna back up and do this one again. So five, and I'm showing you how you can easily change it and get rid of it. Four. Two and oops, big fingers. Sometimes I miss it. <laughs> One. So I have my icons there. So I'm gonna put grades in here, grade level. Okay, I have it there. So now I have my I quick icon as editors. This is great to have when you are doing your grading, but like I said, we'll come back to that in another Adasio how-to. Now I'm going to go down to my icons right below the custom editor. Now give me one moment, ladies and gentlemen, as I try to get rid of my, there we go, get rid of my, my keyboard so you can see. All right, I'm going back down to my gray book options. Now going down to icons, it's got the little book with a star next to it comes up with all my different icons that I can do. I'm going to scroll down just so you can see how many there are. You'll notice right now that their icons have says description and then has a check and then the three lines. Well, any box that's not checked will not show up regularly. So all of these thousand, not thousand, but many icons here will not show up unless I go through and I check it. If I check it, it will show up when I come up in my icons. If I uncheck it, it will not. Now, let's say I have a specific icon I want to use. So for me, I have my GT students or our GATE students. So I went through and I tap on it and it brings up my keyboard so I can change the name. It normally says description, but it's, I have it labeled as a GATE, so A, G, A, T, E. And now it's there and it's going to stay there. Now I'm done with that. Keyboard away. Now, if I want to move these icons around, so I have certain ones on top and other ones on the bottom, it changes really fast as I'm thinking about it. There we go. So, example, I'm going to put my grade levels together. So, right now I have my kindy. So, I'm going to go down and find my number one. On the far right hand side, it says description. So I'm going to change my description. I'm going to put first grade. And I'm going to go down. I got done. 
and then I'm going to have the green check next to it, I'm using it, and then next to it, the three bars. If I press and hold the three bars, it's going to bring it up, and now I can move it. Oh, apologize. So while it's pressed and held down, I just go up to where specifically where I want it. The closer to the top it is, the, the faster it's going to show up. Now I'm going to go through and do this for each one of these descriptions. Press and hold, I'm going to drag it on up, put it with my other one. So you can go through and customize exactly where you want your different icons. It's a really nice tool to have. And so you can change the different icons to what you need and what best fits you. Now I'm just showing you what I do because I'm setting mine up. And so I'm giving you that example. And one more. And then anytime I can go through and change these different icons. So I have mine set up here, ready to go. When you come over here as well, you can go through and say specifically what you want for different co column editors. Again, we'll go through that when we get to the grading time. But we have our identifiers, and that's the key what we we're trying to go through at the moment. So we have our listing of them here. We have our icons. We put them where we want them. You give them names if you want them. Green check that you want them to show up. So when I press done, I go into my individual class. If I press and hold either from the roster view or from the sitting chart view, click on edit. I have that black icon there underneath the student. Press and hold. And here are my icons that pop up. Any one that I've checked off with the green, they are here. If I want to go through and change something at the moment, instead of go through all my settings, I can go to configure icons, and it will bring me up the same setting that we were just looking at. So there's a couple of different ways to get through there. Go through and change all the things I don't want, or I do want. Press back. I can add in whatever icon I want this student to have. So let's say the student is in second grade. I press done. Now it shows that that student is in second grade. Now it's not going to give me the words for it, but I know what that icon means. And if I do need to show somebody, I can press on it, and it will show me second grade. So there's the icons, ladies and gentlemen, on the how-tos for the Idacio app. Any questions, please email me if you have any other questions on how to do things, or if you'd like to see a how-to video on how to create something or how to do something in the Idacio, please email me or leave comments in the section below. Email ndspencer at aps.k12.co.us and have a wonderful day.